What's you guys? Alex Pearson back with a better video. Hopefully, I'm right here tonight. Everyone's on this world. And it happened again, guys. It happened again. Gordon Hayward got hurt. <laughs> Last night against the Spurs, he broke his freaking hand. Oh. Two years ago, freaking snapped his ankle. Game one was out for the whole season. Last year, came back super slow. Was not the same Hayward. Comes back this year. Starts killing it. Starts looking like the old Utah Jazz Hayward. Then he breaks his freaking hand. He's going to see a specialist tomorrow. I don't know. If he really if he needs surgery, he'll probably be out for the season. But if he doesn't need surgery, and then he'll probably be out for like two, three months. And then, I don't know, man. He's going to have to start all over again. I mean, it was his left hand. So, like, he can still shoot with his right. So, maybe he won't lose that much. But he was on such a roll. Playing so efficient. He was playing so great basketball. Fantastic basketball. And sadly, man, it just gets ruined. And the thing is, I jinxed him, too. In yesterday's video, I said most surprising team so far. I said the Celtics. I was wearing this Gordon Hayward jersey when I talked about him. I said, hey, Hayward, Hayward was playing great. Blah, 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 blah. I freaking jinxed him, man. Hayward breaks his hand last night. We're going to watch the video clip. Go over his stats so far this season. And then, um... Go over what the Celtics are looking like without Gordon Hayward. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please drop a like. And um, yeah, let's get it started. So I got the video clip here. It's not graphic at all. He just kind of bangs his hand to LaMarcus Aldridge's body. I've seen I've seen this before, but I just wanted to react to it with you guys. And maybe I'll see some details I didn't see earlier. So let's watch it. Yeah, he just... Ooh. Yeah, he kind of just collides with Lamarcus Aldridge. Lamarcus Aldridge is a big body. Big man. And he's just in a lot of pain. This sucks, man. We're playing so well without Gordon, with Gordon. Yeah, look. Ah. Uh, he just kind of, Lamarcus Aldridge hits a great pick. Not a foul play. No bad play. He just bangs his hand. I didn't come here to watch the game. I came here to... What's the point of this? I came here to watch the game. Let's just keep watching to see what happens. It's only a minute and a half. Okay, okay, they're showing the replay. I don't even see his hand, really. He kind of just... It's more like his wrist, but... I get it's all connected there. Ah, uh, that stuff's just depressing. Now let's go over Gordon Hayward's stats so far this season. Man, he's when I say he's been playing great ball, he's been playing a fantastic ball, so efficient, looking like the old Gordon Hayward. Man, oh, man. obviously this is nowhere near as bad as injury a few years ago. I mean, he could be back for the season or he might not be. But either way, it's definitely not a recovery where he's going to be like, this could end his career. Like the la at last injury, most guys never even come back from that. So, so far on the season, he's averaging 19 points a game, shooting 55%, 43, 44% from three, seven rebounds, four assists, one steal, and almost one block a game. He was playing so well. Last night, we did kill the Spurs and... Um, Yesterday, in yesterday's video, I did say well, if we lose Gordon Hayward, we're going to struggle as a team. Now, I personally, I'm not going to take it back, but I definitely still believe in this team. It's just not going to be as easy because, you know, Jalen Brown's going to have to step up. He's been playing great. He had 30 points last night, so that really gives me some confidence for this team. Jason Tatum's been playing great. Campbell Walker's been playing great, and our defense has been so darn good. Daniel Tice, Robert Williams, when Ennis Kander comes back, Carson Edwards, our young guy's been Playing offensively pretty well. And Grant Williams looks like a fantastic young Al Horford. An undersized power forward slash center. So we're producing very well. But um, this is just a big hit to the team. Because we were playing like we were playing fantastic. Best team in the East. I mean, we're still the best team in the East. Second best team in the NBA. Oh, man, it's just kind of a big hit. We're just going to have to come over this adversary. We did adversary. We did it two years ago. When we didn't have Kyrie for the playoffs. Or Gordon Hayward for the season when he hurt his leg. So we have to come over this adversary. Um, adversity. And we're going to do it, and we're going to still kill it. we got a lot of young guys and got a lot of good talent. we still got Kemba Walker, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, who are even better this year. And then when they were in the rookie years, uh, well, rookie year for Tatum and uh, sophomore year for Brown. But, um, yeah, it's a big hit. Kind of pissed me off. But, uh, you know, life happens. As they say, S-H-I-T happens. You can't do anything about it. We just have to overcome it. 
play as a unit, play as a team, and Brad Stevens has to keep coaching fantastically. Everybody's got to play as a unit, step it up. These are we're, we're, they're each other's brothers out there, and I think we're still going to be fine. I always hope you guys did enjoy this video. If I'm sorry if I was repetitive, this is like my reaction to it. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Prayers up to Hayward, man. If there's any if there's any person who doesn't deserve this, it's Hayward, man. He's been through a lot in his life, especially in the past three years. Hope you guys do enjoy this. It did enjoy this video, like always. Peace.